Good morning, everyone. Um, at my first word, I would give thanks to the J and Beyond team for um, scheduling my talk at nine, nine o'clock on Sunday in the morning, which is normally the only one day I can sleep a little bit longer. Um, and of course, I would like to thank you for attending this, this talk at nine o'clock at Sunday morning. Um, this is me. Sorry. <laughs> Back. This is me. My, my name is Radek Suski, and um, beside the fact that I am apparently a social media junkie, which I didn't even knew before I has been nominated to the, the Oscars, um, I am mainly the software developer. <laughs> and um, I am actually the half, the half of the Sobi development team. The second half is my wife, Sigrid. Um, Sigrid, is <laughs> Sigrid is also the boss in our company. And as I mentioned before, she is my wife, so um, let's just say she is the boss. Uh, to start, I would like to tell you something about something very important, because, uh, and, and uh, I mean the name Sobi Pro, because it seems to a little bit confusing for many people why the Sobi 2 follower is called Sobi Pro and not Sobi 3. And um, moreover, many people tend to believe that because it's called Sobi Pro, um, it costs money. And therefore, I would uh, explain Sobi Pro is free in sense of open source software and is also free of charge. So why Sobi Pro? Uh, there are mainly two reasons. Um, besides the obvious one that Sobi Pro is a very professional component. Um, we just realized after we re released Sobi 2 that uh, this is not really good idea to have a number in the product name because um, then the, the product is called in every language a little bit other. For example, we are, come from German, so we call, uh, call Sobi Pro Sobi 2 Sobi, Sobi 2, and people in Poland call it Sobi 2, or in French Sobi 2, I guess. <laughs> and Sobi Pro is Sobi Pro in every language. And this is the whole story about the name. Um, we started our ad adventure with Sobi in Joomla um, in 2006. Six. <laughs> um, basically, we created Sobi uh, for our own project, which has been never finished because uh, we have a very strange idea to share the component with the community. And um, after we pu published the original Sobi, the Sobi 1, Sobi version, um, we got a lot of feature requests and uh, we realized very quickly that Sobi is not really suitable to, to implement those features. Therefore, we decided to create, to develop fully new component. And after a few months, the Sobi 2 component been, uh, has been born. Of course, people kept asking for new features, for new features. And uh, after a few years of maintaining and, 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 and uh, developing Sobi 2, we realized that also Sobi 2 is not more, not more really real, really to implement new features. And therefore, we decided to again to start new component. And there, there is, there is uh, how Sobi Pro has been uh, developed. Um, Sobi and Sobi 2 were mainly designed to be used as business directory. As we, but as we implemented more and more features in, 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 in Sobi 2, um, the different uses for Sobi 2 kept growing, and over the time it became possible to, to use Sobi 2 almost as a, every kind of directory. Um, and then, then came the, the, the day when the first user said, um, it's a great component, and thank you very much for it, but I have a small problem because I have uh, my website with business directory, but I would like to use Sobi 2 also as a kind of real estate. And uh, is it possible to, to, to install Sobi 2 more than once? It wasn't. So as a kind of temporary solution, we create a kind of 
shell scripts, bash script for Unix operating system, which allow us to create um, a clone of SOBI2, which means from SOBI2 to create fully new component with new name. And that was a small trick to, to be possible to implement, uh, to, to, to install SOBI2 more than once of one Joomla, uh, one Joomla site. But the cloning script, we call it cloning script, is not really the best solution because beside the fact that you, are, you, you are need a Unix operating system for it, you are going to install two components, or even more, almost identical. Same code twice, same, same CSS style, same images and so on. It doesn't really make much sense. Therefore, one of the major, major theme by, uh, major goals in the Sobu Pro development was to be possible to create more than one directory within a one component. And this is what we, uh, what we done in Sobi Pro. You have, we have, we have sections and all, all, every, every single section is a kind of independent directory. We can create own fields, own categories, own templates, or even uh, we have the possibility to, to override some language strings. Field manager. I wanted to show you that the original Sobi, Sobi one, um, didn't have any kind of field manager. And as I take the screenshots, I realized that it's uh, actually not quite true because um, we had some kind of field manager already in Sobi one. There was a set of uh, fields, and we could uh, disable or enable every of the, all, almost every of those fields. So it was a kind of field manager. Um, but after we published Sobi, we realized quickly that they, there was a small problem about it. Um, I can remember we had user from Hong Kong, I believe, and he, he told, uh, told us about his, his problem. In particular, uh, the, the addresses in, in, in Hong Kong are built a little bit other than in, as in Europe. And as we can see here, we didn't have the possibility to reorder fields. We could disable or enable this, those fields, but it was not possible to reorder those. And uh, of course, we, without hacking the core code. So um, to be honest, this was the major, major reason why we devol developed Sobi2. Um, the main focus in Sobi2 was to have a set of fields and possibility to add custom fields um, and disable and f re to reorder them. Um, but as I said, Sobi2 was mainly designed, designed to be used as, as directory component and therefore we had few fields, the first, the first set of fields, it was always there. You could disable, we could disable them, but it have, uh, th th this, this field was there. We, we rely on these fields. And, um, but as I said before, Joomla users are, are very, very inventive. And um, as they started to use Sobi2 for, for many other pur purposes, um, it was quite annoying that they, for example, had a kind of real estate directory, but they had a set of fields which they don't even use. And therefore, in some future, future version of Sobi2, we unlocked the field manager and made it possible to, to add and remove almost, almost all custom fields. Remove all, also. Almost because there, was, there, is, there is at least one field which is fixed, which has to be there, which has, to be, which has a fixed position. It's the name field or the title field. It, it, it has to be there. And it isn't really custom field at all. So in Sobi Pro, we have totally reconsidered the field manager. Now, every, every single field in Sobi Pro is a custom field, even the title field. Um, and also, in, back in Sobi 2, mm, beside the title field, there, was some, there are some, some fields. Um, like, for example, the meta keys and meta description and image, they are not really custom because you don't have to use them. 
But if, you, if, if we are going to use this field, then we have to use it very particular way. We cannot change the behavior of those fields. And uh, in Sopipa, it's not that case anymore. We have, we, all, all fields are custom fields, even the image field and uh, the meta keys are, it's, po it's possible to, to, to uh, set some fields uh, in this way that the, da the da data of th those fields can be added to the, to the meta keys and meta description. So we could even uh, build the meta da metadata from several fields, not just from one. And we have also a custom image field. For example, this is a field which creates three different size of image, resized, and we could decide which, which uh, image size should be shown in which view. And beside them, the very comfortable situation is that we can add more than one field. We had in, in, Sobi, in Sobi 2 um, basically only two image fields the icon and the image field for, for logo, and it was fixed. It was not possible to add more the images without the, the gallery plugin. In Sobi 2, fields are part of the core code, which is a little bit difficult for us as developer and for user too, because every time we wanted to add a new field type, we have to update the core of Sobi 2. And as I said, in Sobi Pro, we reconsidered the field manager completely. Um, we realized that the small, really the small addition in Sobi 2, we made in Sobi 2, become quickly one of the major features in, 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 so, in Sobi component. And therefore, we, we re, as I said before, we redesigned the, the field manager and we, we um, moved the fields from the core code to the application um, interface, um, and we have we have designed an application interface. Uh, we have designed a field uh, interface, so it's basically possible at the moment to create every kind of fields. Um, and the advantage advantage for of them, uh, uh, for example, we can. As I said before, we can define which of this, those fields is a name field, title field. We can, we can define um, which fields should be included in the, uh, for example, alpha index. Um, beside them, every, every field can have, or mostly have, own uh, method for the set function, for the, um, uh, for the details view, for the, for the category view, and so, and so on. In, in Sobi, I mean Sobi 1, there was not really easy way to, to, uh, to style the output of the component. Therefore, in Sobi 2, we have implement, implemented a CSS editor. Uh, but guess what? The people have kept asking and, and uh, people, um, it wasn't enough, enough for the user. And rightfully so, it, was, it wasn't enough. So we started to implement different templates in Sobi2. Uh, for the beginning, we had the, um, the, the details view template. Then we have implemented the VCAD view template. Finally, we have implemented the entry form template. And at the end, we have even implemented a kind of template package manager. But it was still not enough for users. And which was not very uh, surprising. So, the, so another major team in Sobi Pro Design was to be able to style literally every piece of output of component output. And we we did that. We uh, we have implemented it, and um, we can now uh, style every piece of output, no matter in which function in in VCAD view and, and in category view and um, at entry form, in search function, and so on. <laughs> Beside them, these are very nice features for template designer, I think. Um, <clears throat> we, we have defined all um, template package manager, and 
when, you are going, when we are going to install a um, template, we can in the, uh, say in the install XML file that uh, this template should also create a section and define set of fields for this section. So if we are going to create a kind of, of, of um, template, for example, for co contact directory, we could say that this template should also create a new section called contacts and, sh and should also uh, install all the fields we are need for this, for, for this directory. As a Joomla 1.5 was released, we found the template code for the inclusion in, in templates very cool. I mean, the um, JDoc include uh, head and, and so on. It is a really very nice feature, very handy, and it has really big advantage. It's not PHP code. And I think it's really important because many Joomla users are not PHP developer. And if they do something wrong in this, this code, nothing really bad can happen. Maybe something will not be displayed, but the, but the, the, the site still uh, works fine. It's no fatal error or something like this. So uh, we start to, de to develop, develop um, similar uh, feature for Sobi Pro and Sobi 2 even, uh, even at that time. Um, we start to define our syntax on parser, and then we realize that it doesn't really make sense because actually something like this already exists and it calls XSLT. But as we announced that XSLT will be the template engine in Sobi Pro, we earned some critics because um, people believe that XSLT is very complicated and hard to, hard to learn which is actually not really true. Um, I, a few weeks ago, I um, found a very interesting discussion at Stack Overflow. Um, one of the user, uh, the, the thread starter, asked why, why the XSLT uh, template um, engine is not that popular as others, although it's more, much more advanced. And another user uh, answered him, um, it's because XSLT seems to, but only seems to be very complicated, which is not really true. But uh, the first look, if you, if, you t the, if you take out the first look at the, at the code for XSLT templates, it's, it's really a little bit overwhelming because it's really long syntax and you need to write a lot of code to achieve something. But as I said, I think XSLT is e really easy to learn, and I see it in our forum where the user, user, our user can handle the XSLT syntax without any problem. Okay, they ask for something very, very specific, and we are going to help them, and, and, they, and they can't handle it. So, I, so I said, uh, I think XSLT, I believe XSLT is really easy to learn and easy to use. Um, Sobi 2 doesn't really have any kind of access management right, uh, access right management. You can basically decide if an uh, unregistered user can add an entry and if an registered user can add its own entries. That's all. Um, but people kept asking us for better user management in, in, in Sobi 2, which is not really surprising, but some, some of the feature requests uh, doesn't really make sense for me. For example, we had user, um, many user kept asking for features. Uh, they wanted to have the possibility that any unregistered user should be able to edit any entry on your site, on his site. So, I mean, basically, uh, it's, it's a little bit silly, I think. Any guest, any user, any unregistered user, any visitor can go to, you, to your site and edit any entry. And I, I, I ignored them feature requests, really, because I thought it didn't, didn't find any sense in them. Until one of this user explained us why he needed. And uh, in particular, he, he has a website um, with Sobi2, and uh, he is using Sobi2 as a kind of customer database for the company employer. 
And um, this website is in internet, so no one, no one unauthorized can access the site. And it was clear for him that, for example, our employer um, found out that the, one of the customer address has been changed, so he should be able to change this da data in the data da database. And now my, it does make sense for me. Um, long story short, in Sobi Pro, we have implemented, uh, we, can, we, can, we can define many different permissions for each user group, for each section. So, for example, um, a user could be could could moderate could moderate, for example, entries within a, one section, but he wouldn't be able to see entries without another section. Shortly after Sobi Two has been published, <laughs> um, we got a feature request, and one of this user uh, of our user asked of if, if, he, if he would like to have a possibility to add ma more, ma more than two images into a directory and show them in a kind of lightbox gallery. Um, it was an interesting feature and we decided to implement them, but, but uh, we realized that this doesn't really make sense to implement it within the Sobi2 uh, uh, code because not really every user, every uh, business directory uh, manager want to have m a kind of gallery uh, within the, the business directory. It doesn't make always sense. And that was the, the point where we thought about implementing uh, a kind of, of plugin interface in Sobi2. And just as a small explanation, um, as we implemented the, 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 the um, plugin interface into Sobi2, uh, there, were, there were not really plugins in Joomla. In Joomla, plugins were called Mumbots at that time. And after Joomla 1.5 has been released, it becomes quite confusing because we have plugins for Sobi2 and plugins for, for, for Joomla. Uh, people um, installing, for example, um, Sobi2 plugins within the Joomla plugins uh, installer and such stories. So therefore, um, therefore, we, we decided to change the plugins to application in Sobi Pro. <laughs> and hopefully there will not be apl application in, in Joomla 2.0 or something like this. Um, the, the story of the plugin interface is very similar to the, to the field manager. Um, after we implemented it, it became really quickly one of the major features for Sobi2. And uh, therefore we implemented the... Um, no, sorry, one specs. Okay. Uh, therefore we re-implemented re the Sobi, uh, Sobi Pro application, uh, application interface and um, the main advantage is that we uh, knew about the plugin or application interface already in the Sobi Pro design phase, therefore we could uh, handle it much better. Because as I said, uh, we implemented the, the, the Sobi, uh, Sobi 2 uh, plugin interface uh, on after, so it was um, not considered in the, in the design of Sobi 2. Um, even if Sobi Pro has been released uh, a few weeks ago, we, we already have some uh, application for Sobi, 2, uh, for Sobi Pro. Um, as I explained before, the fields are not, more, not, not included in the core any longer, but it doesn't mean that, that uh, the... Mm, b b Okay, I'm back. I'm back now. <laughs> um, okay. Um, 
so it doesn't mean that if you are going to download Sobi, Sobi Pro that there was no, no field included with it, because it will be a little bit silly. So the uh, fields are not uh, not uh, not part of the core any longer, but, but the default installation package co uh, contains some fields already. Um, and beside those fields, we have, we have uh, some additional fields, like for example the download fields, uh, which allow, allows us to uh, create a kind of da download and or document management directory. Mm. We can add a Google map uh, field to the entry um, or we can add an aggregation field. Um, I know, I think this uh, well known, this is a kind of text where we can aggregate s several entries with uh, some keyword. Um, in addition, we have application available to integrate a few comment system like Discuss and, and JComment, and um, also a small app which allows us to send notification, uh, email notification after an entry has been added, added uh, something like this, and um, SEP router. And finally, I would like to tell you something a little about the future of Sobi, of Sobi Pro and our plans. Um, here's a small, small list of applications we are working uh, at the moment on. Um, I think import and export is, is clear that's uh, a kind of, of uh, application for export and import entries, um, probably in CSV or comma separated value files. Um, maybe also XML, I don't know if, if people will asking for it. Uh, radius distance search, um, no, as a radius distance search plugin for Sobi, for Sobi 2, so we can, we can extend the search functionality with uh, searching within our radius. Um, um, advanced review and rating, that's a cool one, I think. Um, we are going to create a kind of a review and rating uh, application with multi multi criteria. Um, uh, it's a, like on eBay where you can where you can rate, for example, uh, the seller uh, about uh, her contacts ability and, and, and how how good was the shipping and shipping price and so on. Um, Okay, I, I think I'm not going to describe all of them because uh, we don't have that much time. Um, okay, this is the list we know now. I, I, we hope we hope to to be able to to implement to develop this uh, this add-ons within this year. Um, but um, the other side is we don't really know in which order we are going to implement because we would like to involve the community a little bit more. It means we, we did it already, so we asking our user what they really want. For example, we propose some s several fields and we ask them uh, which field should, uh, should has been developed as first. And uh, it's like the aggregation field has been de developed at the moment because people wanted exactly this field to be first. Uh, now I think we all realize that the evolution of each Sobi version has been very strongly affected by the community. And, um, however, it's not, not so easy and I think every, every software developer will agree with me at the, at the moment that it's not really easy to find out what the community really wants. Because um, an example, we, we have sometimes user who is asking for some very specific feature. And uh, there may be 10 or 20 other users, they agree with him. But if we consider that uh, Sobi, Sobi 2 has about few hundred thousand users, and most users, they don't want this feature, they don't participate in this discuss discussion, so it's really, not really very useful, probably. And um, therefore, we, we thought about it uh, a lot, and, and we decide to create, um, after the Sobi Pro stable um, will be released, we are going to create a special feature request tracker 
it's a little bit affected by the uh, Agile software development method, where the user can uh, request some feature and other user can vote for this feature. So we could find out which features are really important for Sobi Pro in the future. Okay, and thank you very much. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> are there any questions? If so. I, I've used the clone script to. <laughs> I, I'll pass you back this. Uh, okay. Okay, we can speak now. I am a user of the clone script. I have used be, uh, to create um, different different installations of Sobi Pro, of Sobi 2, sorry. And um, at the moment, how can I um, move, migrate to Sobi Pro to make use of the several um, types of directory that it offers. Um, as I said before, we are very, we want to know what the user really want. Um, we have a club, you can join the club, and uh, if the people kept asking for this, we are going to implement for sure a kind of uh, migration script or migration application between Sobi Pro and Sobi 2. But to be honest, at the moment, no one really asking for it. No more question? I have, I have, I have a tough question for you. Oh, God, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and th this is a question that you are more or less aware of because we have uh, talked about this on Facebook. Um, uh, I find uh, Sobi Pro to be a, you know, a major step forward from, from Sobi 2. I have been using Sobi 2 from almost from the very beginning. Um, my major doubt, and I would say that my, my only gripe, so to speak, is the, the need for uh, an ACL system uh, within you know, the, 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 within Sobi Pro without leveraging the existing, you know, um, ACL system built in Joomla 1.6. I have commented this earlier on, on Facebook, so you are, you are aware of it. I, I would like to, to hear from you, you know, what, 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 um, what's the rationale behind the decision you made, you know, to, to build an ACL of your own instead of leveraging the, the one that is already provided. I mean, is it, is it so poor that cannot be, Integrated with Sobi Pro in 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 any way, or I mean, what's the what's the caveat there? Um, as I as I told you, Facebook and, and the major problem about this is we are we have component which is running on Joomla 1.5 and 1.6, so we cannot uh, rely on the, on the ACL from Joomla because we we have to co cover two different versions of Joomla, one with ACL and one and without. Uh, but uh, but um, I don't know if you, if you realize, but we are trying to um, stay um, as much independent from the Joomla framework as it possible. Yeah. Uh, this is not about we don't like Joomla or we. Uh, it's just about we are trying to um, to provide a stable solution. So, for example, um, the decision. Um, uh, was in so far uh, okay because, for example, after Joomla 1.6 has been released, we are, we were able to to create Joomla 1.6 version of Sobi Pro within two days, and many other people had a really big problems about uh, with the, with this because there were major changes in the in the framework. So we we don't rely on the on the Joomla framework. Well, okay, there is there is another question related to this one. Uh, uh, which is which has also to do with the level of integration of Sobi Pro with you know the the Joomla well, CMS. Uh, as you know, there are you know there are CCKs where the you know the com content tables are used for you know content storage and so on. But as as we now know, probably from Joomla 1.7 onwards, there will be a separation between the CMS part yep. and the the library side and so on. Which, by the way, I I totally agree with. Uh, so in, in this concern now I I fully understand 
why it makes sense to keep because this this was a bit confusing for me at the very beginning as well. I, I you know I regarded it as I regarded it back then as a you know a sort of I don't know um, conservative approach to you know the development of Sobi Pro, not integrating it with Com Content. But now I realize that Com Content as such, will, you know, it it has its days numbered. So. Um, Okay, now for me it makes total sense to keep, you know, the Sobi Pro content within its own, within its own tables. Mm -hmm. uh, that said, a uh, 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 question we have, I mean, it's, it's like a, almost like a practical need. Uh, do you have in mind, uh, I know that uh, you will be setting up, you, you just said that uh, something like user voice probably, right? Mm -hmm. to, for users to, to, to give their, their feedback and so on. Uh, now, there's another thing. We, uh, in, in our company, probably we will be developing what you now call applications as well to also address our practical needs. Uh, are you going to have like a, a Sobi Pro extensions directory where, you know, third party developers can we contribute? Uh, sorry. <laughs> We, we have already download director and if someone will ask, ask her for, for uh, um, at entries within this director, I don't see any problem why we shouldn't. So it will keep like the same kind of policy that you have yeah, been... Yeah, of course. Uh, because I, I, I haven't seen, I mean, I, I know where the download directory is, but I, I, mm, I never, you know, uh, I never thought about the mechanism to actually contribute code to, to it. I mean, does, the, do, do we submit it to to 6U and then it goes through like an approval no, uh, process or? You know the simple featured uh, listing module, right? It's a quite competitor for us because we have similar product and a commercial product. And this, this uh, featured listing plugin uh, uh, module is listed in our directory. Mm -hmm. No problem, why not? Okay. It's, it's, it's really not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and uh, one last thing. I think that the decision you have made to use X, uh, XSLT is brilliant. <laughs> it's one of the things I enjoy the most about the current, uh, you know, the current take. I have been using it, uh, I don't know, since 2002, 2003. Uh, to my dismay, it has been abandoned, for, you know, for by quite many people over the years, and I still think that it's one of the easiest, you know, uh, for. For people who are into markup languages rather than you know scripting yeah. languages, right, right. it is way more easy than to to mess around with uh, PHP. So exactly, it's very very thank very, you. Very <laughs> <nice of them. laughs> thank you. That's it. <laughs> um, my question just had to do with. Uh, you mentioned right at the end about um, Sobi Pro being stable. I, I didn't quite catch exactly what you said, but can you just inform us where you are at as far as being stable and as far as like launching out today with a new directory using Sobi Pro? Is that ready ready to uh, uh, use in production sites? Sobi Sobi Pro is at the moment as release candidate two. We are going to release uh, release candidate three uh, in in next week probably. But to be honest, we are using it. Self, we are using it on our, our live site, and uh, there are a lot of people using already. It's uh, on the live site, and one thing I can promise: there will there will be not really big changes between this this version, so it uh, it stay compat compatible. I know you guys are still working on the development, but what do you have any roadmap or plan for when you're going to feature like uh, featured listings and the ratings and radius search and some of those items? I cannot tell you because uh, just a moment. There's a URL um, to roadmap, and you can find it uh, w which application are going to be developed as next. But as I said before, um, we rely on the F uh, users uh, feedback so we asking Ima uh, always w which which uh, which uh, application should be developed as, as next so I cannot tell you exactly which one will, will it will be probably um, the most important for the user I think at the moment is the import backup uh, application so it will be probably the next
Any questions? Okay, then thank you very much.